where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. Tardiness often robs us opportunity and the dispatch of our forces. Men shrink less from offending one who inspires love than one who inspires fear. Of mankind we may say in general they are fickle, hypocritical, and greedy of gain. One who deceives will always find those who allow themselves to be deceived. Men intrinsically do not trust new things that they have not experienced themselves. Everyone sees what you appear to be, few experience what you really are. Politics have no relation to morals. It is double pleasure to deceive the deceiver. Benefits should be conferred gradually, and in that way, they will taste better. Men should be either treated generously or destroyed, because they take revenge for slight injuries, for heavy ones they cannot. Since it is difficult to join them together, it is safer to be feared than to be loved when one of the two must be lacking. Men are so simple and yield so readily to the desires of the moment that he who will trick will always find another who will suffer to be tricked. It is necessary for him who lays out a state and ranges laws for it to presuppose that all men are evil and that they are always going to act according to the wickedness of their spirits whenever they have free scope. A son can bear with equanimity the loss of his father, but the loss of his inheritance may drive him to despair. The fact is that a man who wants to act virtuously in every way necessarily comes to grief among so many who are not virtuous. There is no other way to guard yourself against flattery than by making men understand that telling you the truth will not offend you. The vulgar crowd always is taken by appearances, and the world consists chiefly of the vulgar. Men never do good unless necessity drives them to it, but when they are free to choose and can do just as they please, confusion and disorder become rampant. Never was anything great achieved without danger. It is much more secure to be feared than to be loved. The promise given was a necessity of the past. The word broken is a necessity of the present. We cannot attribute to fortune or virtue that which is achieved without either. One change always leaves the way open for the establishment of others. The lion cannot protect himself from traps, and the fox cannot defend himself from wolves. One must therefore be a fox to recognize traps, and a lion to frighten wolves. Never attempt to win by force what can be won by deception. Whosoever desires constant success must change his conduct with the times. Appear as you may wish to be. Wisdom consists of knowing how to distinguish the nature of trouble and in choosing the lesser evil. In conclusion, the arms of others either fall from your back or they weigh you down or they bind you fast. Everyone who wants to know what will happen ought to examine what has happened. Everything in this world in any epoch has their replicas in antiquity. It is better to act and repent than not to act and regret. 
nature creates few men brave, industry and training makes many. For, in truth, there is no sure way of holding other than by destroying. God creates man, but they choose each other. The first method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler is to look at the men he has around him. It is not titles that honor men, but men that honor titles. No enterprise is more likely to succeed than one concealed from the enemy until it is ripe for execution. Men rise from one ambition to another. First, they seek to secure themselves against attack, and then they attack others. I'm not interested in preserving the status quo. I want to overthrow it. Princes and governments are far more dangerous than other elements within society.